Hey, hey, it's your girl Sammy, and I'm back with another video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel and clicking that play button so that we're able to spend some time together. Today, we are going to talk about a new product that was launched on Wish Trends website last week. <laughs> I am really late on this, but there's a good reason. However, I'm going to take this opportunity to thank the team at Wish Trend for reaching out to me and asking me if I'd like to review this product for them. And of course the answer is going to be yes, and of course I'm going to give you guys an honest review. But again, like I said, thank you guys so much at Wish Trend for reaching out to me and asking me if I'd like to review this product. It is so awesome to always work with you guys because you are such a brilliant and wonderful team. And yeah, you guys have awesome shipping rates, not gonna lie, that was fast. As soon as you're like, yeah, we're gonna send it, and a few days later, I was just like, oh hey, look, a package. So what is the product that launched last week on Wish Trends website? Last week on Friday, the new product was the Freshly Juiced Vitamin E Mask by Dear Claire's. It's Dear Claire's. I've been saying Claire's this whole time, and it's really Dear Claire's. Now before I talk about the product, I'm gonna explain why I'm late with this. So about, I think, three weeks ago, the team at Wish Trend emailed me saying, hey, do you want to try this out? And it's not just me, they emailed a bunch of us. They asked, hey, do you want to try this out? I'm like, yeah, sure, I'd like to try this out. So a couple days later, the next week, so that would be two weeks ago, I got the product and I was all well and whatnot. And then the day after I got sick. And so I've been sick up until quite recently. So about last week, it, was, it hit me hard last week. I was sick all of last week, which was great because I had exams. No, it wasn't. Recently, I got better, so I've been using it more and more. The thing is, I didn't use it during the week before it launched because at that time, I was sick, okay? And then I had my period. So when I'm sick, I get sick acne. Wonderful, right? And then on top of that, I have my period acne. So just like, no, this isn't happening. I'm not gonna introduce a new product to my face at this point. I'm just going to keep using the same products I normally use so that my skin won't freak out as much. That's why I'm so late with uploading this video because I wanted to make sure I had enough time to test out this product before talking to you guys about it. And the thing is, is that I was going to do it after using it for like two to three days and I was just like, no, that's not enough. Let's give it a week. So I've been using it since last week up until this week. So we have a full week of usage. Actually, not really because it would be today would be the full week of usage, but close enough. So now you guys know why I have been so late. Let's go ahead and move on to the product itself. First, we'll start off with the packaging. It comes in. Let me get in close for you guys. Hopefully it focuses. Come on, Betty. Betty. Betty! Betty Lou! She's not focusing today. I'm going to go ahead and turn down the light so that you can see all of this. Let's go down a little bit. There we go. So on top you have the brand. Come on Betty, catch up. Catch up Betty. There we go. We've got the Dear Claire's brand on top. Right there in holographic um, print. I guess print. Mm. And then on the side you have what it's about in English and then on the other side you have it in Korean and on the back you have the ingredients list in Korean and then in English. So there we go. There's the ingredients list. Screenshot it if you need to. Again, here are the sides so that you can see it now in better lighting because it was too bright. Alright, let's go ahead and open her up. This is so satisfying, I'm not gonna lie guys. So satisfying. I love this packaging so much. So, so much. All right, again, you have the holographic here on the side. And then you have this lovely reflective lid, which has all of my smudged fingerprints on it. All right, let me clean that off. It's such a beautiful top, and I love it because you can see yourself. Like, see that? You can see the ring light. You can see my camera. You can see the lens. So pretty. I just love this. I love this minimalistic packaging. It's a little bit extra because of the holographic label, but it's just so clean and aesthetic. Yes. Let's go ahead and open her up. Oh, wait, before we move on, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Dear Claire's for being so freaking considerate by including a spatula in their packaging because it helps to keep your product clean as much as possible so that you're not sticking your grimy fingers, even if it's post-wash, into your jar. I was about to say tub moisturizer. Back to opening this up. We open her up. There's a lid on the inside. 
We're gonna take that off. Inside, it looks a bit ugly because I turned her upside down to clean her off. It looks like this. It's very clean looking. It looks like moisturizer. However, when you do this, let's see if it'll do it. It jiggles, it jiggles. So it's got a clear, not clear, it's got a glossy consistency. That's the word I was looking for. And because it jiggles, it instantly reminds me of pudding or jello. I know the dim sum restaurant that's like about 20, 30 minutes away from here, they have a mango jelly or a mango pudding as what they labeled it on their menu. This is the same exact consistency. Exactly, exact look and everything. It's just not edible. <laughs> hmm. It's so much fun and it's so jiggly because this is a type of, well, they labeled this on the Wish Trend website in their information box as memory cream. And that's because it retains its shape in the jar, which is so true because if you look at it, it's returning back to its shape. I don't know if you can tell that from here, but it used to be all broken up, but now it's going back to its normal shape and it's going to maintain a very even flat surface after give it a couple of minutes and it'll settle down and it's pretty tight to open it up because it looks like brand new product every time you open up the jar it just looks completely undisturbed and perfect and it's so satisfying to open so with this type of consistency according to the information box on wish trends website this makes this product suitable for use as one a mask two a sleeping pack I had to remember this, I'm so sorry. And three, a gel moisturizer, which is pretty tight, especially for all of you dry skin, acne prone girls out there, or guys. For all of you guys who suffer from dry skin and acne prone skin, I definitely recommend this as a nighttime moisturizer because it will lock in all of that moisture from your skincare routine as well as all the healthy, wonderful, beneficial ingredients you use in your skincare routine. It just locks that in and keeps it in overnight and you wake up feeling refreshed and your skin is so good like it is so good it is so awesome <sighs> this thing is a miracle saver now i don't really see normal skin or combination skin using this as a moisturizer probably a sleep pack which is essentially in my how i understand how sleep packs are used it's basically a moisturizer that's how i feel like it like how it works but yeah i don't really see you guys using this as a moisturizer but more like a sleep pack or a mask because of its thick consistency it's very rich but i mean you know your skin better than i know your skin or anyone's skin type so to each their own you can Work it however you want to work it. So now I'm going to do a quick demo of this on my skin. Let me find that spatula. I do have clean skin because I washed the dishes not too long ago. So I'm going to take this edge right here. And here's a little bit. See, it maintains its jelly consistency. And now I just need to scrape this off onto my hand. It looks very globular on my skin, not going to lie. You got little, a little glob right here and a little streak there. It's not moving, it's not going anywhere. Here you go. I'm gonna spread this out. So it looks like initially that it's quick absorbing, which it does, it feels like that. But to be honest, in my experience, I've noticed that it takes a while for it to settle into your skin to completely absorb. So you're left with this sticky feeling. So that's why I say it's better to be used as like a mask or um, an overnight moisturizer, a sleeping pack. So that's, that's because of the, the consistency it has. What you're left with after using it is here's my skin without the moisturizer whatsoever. This is my right hand, by the way, as soon as Betty focuses on my hand, it's very, it looks plain. It looks meh. Nothing really cool about it. I can tell you it's pretty dry right now, especially here. It's just meh. There's no glow to it. Whereas when you look at the one with the moisturizer on it, ba-bam, there is glow, there is life, there's, there's color in it. Now you can still, I can still feel that it's still sticky. I'm here pressing it in. I don't know if you can see that. There's a little stick, whereas here, a normal skin, no stick whatsoever. Now what I've noticed about this three-in-one product is that 
Have you ever used the Vaseline lotion? It kind of feels like that. So that's the feeling, a sticky feeling. And it's, it's very weird to get used to, but when you realize that this is full of really good ingredients for your skin that needs to be absorbed over time, especially since this product was made to be used in conjunction with the vitamin C serum, which I will get to later as to why it was made to be used that way. It makes sense. It makes sense as to why it's sticky, why it needs to just sit on your skin for a while. That said, because of its stickiness, I definitely would not recommend using this in the daytime, during the daytime rather. I would definitely use this strictly at nighttime. But again, to each their own, don't let me dictate how you use your skincare products. All right, so let's take a little bit of time here to talk about the ingredients. This product was formulated using, I believe, I have my notes here by the way, uh, three powerhouse ingredients this makes it a complete and total triple threat. Aside from the three ways you can use it, there are three really powerful ingredients in this product, which are vitamin E first and foremost, since that is in the title of the product, two, adenosine, and three, niacinamide. Now briefly, let's talk about niacinamide. This product helps reduce pigmentation, so it's great for all of you girls and guys out there who have some hyperpigmentation after acne. Basically, what I've got right here, this ugly stuff right here for me picking at my pimples, Please do not do that. I tell that to myself all the time, but I'm just, I'm that person who just needs it to go away. So niacinamide does help reduce pigmentation. It also improves oily and acne skin by suppressing the sebum secretion, which is all the stuff that contributes to acne and oily skin, so yeah. The second ingredient would be adenosine, which it helps fight against wrinkles by promoting collagen synthesis, you know, the stuff that makes it look youthful, I believe bouncy, re retain elasticity, so that's really good. It also helps with um, inflammation in your skin because it has anti-inflammatory properties. Um, this helps with wound healing as well as rege skin regeneration, which is great for all of you scab pickers such as myself out there. Yeah. And the headlining ingredient for this product would be vitamin E. First and foremost, it is an antioxidant that helps protect the skin against free radicals, which is the same thing as vitamin C. Uh, vitamin E also has skin softening properties. It also, like I believe adenosine, helps soothe inflammation. And the last on the list, it helps protect against sun damage, which please still wear sunscreen regardless. Okay, so earlier I mentioned that this product was made to be used in conjunction with the vitamin C serum that was made by Claire's, and that's because vitamin E, this ingredient, this ingredient in particular, easily oxidizes, meaning that it loses its effectiveness easily. So the fact that I had this open for a while is a little troubling, but you know what? I, I think there's enough of it to go around, hopefully. Hopefully. Anyways, so what does vitamin C do for this product? Vitamin C will go back in and regenerate vitamin E so that it continues this whole process so that your skin can continue to drink up the vitamin E while drinking up vitamin C because vitamin C keeps regenerating that vitamin E and this cycle just keeps going while you're sleeping and your skin will just embrace and drink up all of these wonderful ingredients, not only the vitamin C, the vitamin E, but also the adenosine and niacinamide, which will all help reduce all of that problematic, uh, all the problem, sorry, which will help reduce all of your skin woes and problems overnight, which is really, really tight. Now, after saying all of that, let me just say that these two products combined together are really great at fighting hyperpigmentation post acne, which I totally saw after using this for about a week because these babies, these babies are going away, which is really, really nice because I just want to have clear skin. I haven't had clear skin in about a year and a half now after this troubling product that I used. So I just want to go back to normal skin and I love, 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 love that using vitamin E and vitamin C together as well as the other ingredients in here help me to achieve that wonderful looking skin. That is if I continuously use this. Okay, so let's talk about my thoughts on this product. So like I mentioned, I have used this for a week now, or a little less than a week, let's be honest. And what I've noticed is that whenever I use it, because there have been some nights, like yesterday, where I don't wash my face, when I do use it, the morning after I use it rather, I notice that my face feels so good. It feels so supple, so moisturized, just, 
and it's radiant. It's it's radiating from within. It is just, it looks so healthy the next day after I used the product. And what I've noticed is that when I'm going through my skincare routine, I'll forget to put on moisturizer because of how moisturized my skin feels because it is that good of a product. Now on days where I do forget to wash my face, and mind you, I don't really wear makeup except for my eyebrows. So it's not big a big of a deal, but it's always good to wash off the day's dirt and grease and all the pollutants that get into your face over the course of the day. So it's always a great idea to wash that off. But like, anyways, I'm going far away from that. When I don't wash my face in the evening and use this product, I notice that the morning after that my skin doesn't feel as great. It actually feels really tight and i mean after washing my face in the morning with my ph my low ph wash from cause rx and then using the supple moisturizing toner from claire's and then using maybe the i'm from korean ginseng serum on my under eyes but then sometimes i spread it over other parts of my face that need moisture i noticed that my face isn't as moisturized it feels a little taut a little tight so this product when you actually do use it has really great benefits it just makes your skin feel so good the next day like I get mad at myself when I don't wash my face and even more so when I don't use this product. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Those are my thoughts. And if you guys have tried this already, it has been out for a week. So I'm pretty sure someone has tried this aside from the people that Wish Trend has contacted. Let me know what you guys think about it down below. Or if you have any questions regarding this, I can try my best to answer your questions. Yeah. I will see you guys next time. See ya.